This one looks pretty good. The last thing Bonnie Corley remembers from last spring was doing some work in her yard. Next thing I heard some, you know, kind of screaming and groaning and she'd come out here and was rolling on the floor. An emergency crew raced Bonnie to the hospital where her systems began to shut down. The next day, doctors put her on a ventilator to give her body a break. Critical care specialist Louis Guzzi knew without immediate intervention, Bonnie's kidneys would be at risk. As I always say, time for the kidneys is really the money for the kidneys. I need to get those kidneys reperfused as soon as possible before they start shutting down. Dr. Guzzi and his colleagues used a new approach to determine patient risk of acute kidney failure. First, they used a device called FlowTrack to measure fluids passing through the system. At the same time, a blood test called NephroCheck lets doctors know if the kidneys are in trouble. Dr. Guzzi says the very early intervention is making a difference. Our rate here was about 9.8, 9.9% renal failure. We're at 2.1 right now. After 30 days in a medically induced coma, doctors slowly brought Bonnie back. I missed my birthday and Mother's Day and my third son's birthday. Now she's back to visit the medical team who treated her as she continues to get stronger. There's been some good things that, that's happened. Our, we're closer, we spend more time together, and I think you tell me you love me every once in a while. I do, I do. I'm Marty Salt reporting. These allergies are killing.